not touch there. I want you to squeeze me. <laughs> you don't need it. Ah, apply. What's the total down at first now? Uh, what's the now, when you keep an object on a surface, always remember when you are drawing two surfaces, you keep a space between the surfaces. When you are drawing two surfaces, you keep a space. Let's say an object is on the table, a box is there on the table. What are the forces acting on this box? Guaranteed box will have a mass. Due to the mass, it will have the weight. Weight will act from center of gravity where? Downwards. That's the weight. Is that the only force? Is that the only force? No. Oh. But just imagine if weight is the only force. Weight is acting downwards. Downwards can be something. It's like someone is pulling the pulling the object downwards. I think like you have a water bottle. That's it. Thank you. Now chair has a surface. On this surface, I keep the water bottle. Weight of the water bottle is acting down. Weight is acting down and it is like someone from down is pulling the bottle down. That's the force no moment. Force is push or pull. Someone is pulling it down now. Someone is pulling it down. My question is, if someone pulls it down, water bottle should break the chair. Someone is pulling it down. Water bottle should break the chair, go down, still it is pulling, break the stage, go down to the basement, break all the vehicles there, go on to the earth corner. Neither. Is it happening? Is it happening? Now, any object has a weight, a weight can have pulling force down. Now, I have a weight, believe me. I have a weight. I have a weight means someone from down is pulling me. If someone is pulling me down, then what should happen to me? I should break the stage, go there, go to the basement, die, go to the core. Some are laughing. But is it happening? Is it happening? Boys, is it happening? No. Why no? That is because to balance the downward force, there should be a upward force. To balance this downward weight, Lamai, there is an upward force acting. What is that upward force called as perpendicular reaction? To balance the downward force, there is a reaction acting upwards. Let's take the weight is. 20 Newton. Downward force is 20 Newton. What should be the upward force? To balance it thing? 20 Newton. Can it be more than 20? If it is more than 20, bottle will go up. Then both get balanced. Why? Equilibrium. Go. Equilibrium. Total downward force, upward force, balance. Now don't misunderstand and think. Uh, here now. Weight of an object and perpendicular reactions are equal. Did I tell something like that? No. Sometimes it is equal, sometimes it's not equal. For example, let's take the chair. Let's say chair has a weight of 50 Newton. Chair has a weight of 50 Newton. Downward how many Newton then? 50 Newton. And now what should be upward perpendicular reaction? 50 Newton. I am going and sitting there. Let's say I am now 100 Newton. Yeah. I have 100 Newton. My legs should not touch there. <clears throat> I am 100 Newton. Chair is 50 Newton. I am 100. Chair 50. Totally, what's the downward force? 150. Any number, what's the upward force? Uh, so, total downward force is only balanced. Let's say I take the bottle also and key. Bottle ni kang kiyemo ko 20 newton kiyala. 
Now this. So R50. I am 100. Bottle 20. What's the total down that throws? Huh? 170. Eh, now what's the total of a throws? I think I'm here. I want you to squeeze me. <laughs> Just press, eh? You wait. Just press. Harish. Wait, wait, wait. When I tell you start. Now, say 50 Newton. I am 100 Newton. Bottle 20 Newton. Rafael is going to apply me 30 Newton. Apply only 30 Newton, eh? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Until I tell. Right? Now you do the calculation. Say, 50, I, I am 100, bottle 20, Rafin 30. Ah, apply. What's the total downward force now? Uh, a number of upward force. 200. Does that mean my total weight down and total upward force, uh, to, total weight here and reactions are equal? No. Weight is these objects' weight. But addition is someone is pushing me. No? But the additional force. So in statement type question, thank you. In statement type question, if they give a question like this, weight and perpendicular reactions are always equal. Is it correct? Maybe it's equal, maybe it's not equal. It depends on what are acting on top of it. But keep in mind, total downward force and total upward force should be equal for an object to be at equilibrium. 